Good morning. It is 8 o'clock and it is Friday, which is my favorite. And today the home show starts, so the doors open at 10 o'clock. I have a bunch of stuff to do before that, but then we're going to head down there. Tonight, believe it or not, they are calling for 3 to 6 inches of snow. We are supposed to get it. So tonight's going to get interesting. I'll take you guys along. It'll probably be an all-nighter again tonight. I was hoping that last one was going to be it, but it doesn't look like that. So we'll be plowing again tonight and tomorrow. I have estimates, which isn't going to be fun, uh, trudging around in the snow, but that's just the way that it is here in Wisconsin. I've been doing it for years, and snow this time of year, unfortunately, is not unusual. All right, I already took this trash out, and I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. Long line this morning. I don't know if you all heard this, but Bucky's is coming to Wisconsin. They're going to build their first store, probably first of many, I would assume. That's going to get interesting because right now, Quick Trip is the big dog. Quick Trip rules Wisconsin. Wisconsin will see more than two inches of snow. The National Weather Service says the only question is who will see more. Forecasters say the snow that will start about midnight, continue through noon tomorrow, will drop between three and six inches of snow. Well, I ran to the yard and I got some hats. I forgot something back at my house, so I went and got that. Now I'm at Walgreens because if there's one thing that people like, it's anything for free. So I'm here to stock up with candy so people can come to the booth and grab a handful these little mint things are perfect they're really cheap not a lot of people love them so they last a little longer we'll do that some breath mints and starburst that should be good that is a home show pro tip on weekdays go with cheap candy like Tootsie Rolls or mints because you're gonna get a lot of people that were just bored they had nothing better to do a lot of them will get free tickets and they'll come and just walk the show for something to do for entertainment with no intentions on buying anything not all of them but there are a lot of them on the weekdays that do that I am at Home Depot I gotta get some stuff for dusting first of all morning morning how you doing good I'm going to get wipes to wipe everything except for the TVs and then hopefully I can find something for the TVs. I got to get a garbage can. So, Saturday, remember? Okay. First Saturday. Okay. 9 to 11. Bring mm -hmm. our, okay? Okay. Thank you. They should put you in sales. They should, right? I'm yes. Saying, he's selling it. Uh -huh. All right, he said I need to go on sales now. She really <laughs> needs to go on sales. <laughs> She's really good. Thank you. Have a good day. Yep, you too. It's Friday, which is my favorite. I know, right? Yeah. Well, we're gonna get some snow, so. Yeah. Chilling, yeah. See you, see you later. Pro tip number, whatever. If you're late to the home show, it doesn't really make any difference because nobody's gonna be there at 10 o'clock in the morning anyway. Usually around lunchtime they start filtering in. Yes, even the exhibitors have to pay for parking. Ten bucks. Alright, we don't take cash. I know it says easy money on your car. Sorry. No Only cash. Card. Yeah, safety measures. They don't trust you? No. We are here. It's a really beautiful day today. You would never think that we're gonna get a snowstorm tonight. But it's true. We'll see if it sticks. They're saying three to six inches plus. But I won't believe it until I see it. This is one of the times where you hope that the forecast is wrong and they're gonna say we're gonna get this big snowfall and we get nothing. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. This is the time where that won't happen. 10 bucks for parking. All right, my dad's calling me. Hey dad, your phones are, something's weird with them. Oh, okay, I'll let you go then. All right, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye just chatting with my dad so 
me and my dad have a good relationship and my stepmom she's a great lady hand out a ton of these I do this every year so you get these circulating get your name and your logo in front of people over and over year after year after year and eventually you build up your reputation where you get more leads than you can handle and that's actually where I am now I don't have to do this home show anymore to get the leads I get enough leads just naturally but I still love this home show it's always good to stay out in front of people so I don't really have any intentions on quitting doing this home show even though it's not totally necessary anymore candy Mike's here Mike got a new utility bed on his truck that looks good he's even got a vice I'm jealous my vice should be coming that I ordered I don't know if that scratch was there or Mike did that. I'm going to have to ask him. But Mike's going to be busy this year. He's going to have a good year. Mike's a guy that has ambition and drive. And he's just a super hard worker. And that's what it takes to run a business. Thank you. This is kind of what it looks like right before the show opens. Everything's carpeted, all the aisles. Good morning. Looks like somebody didn't show up. That's really weird. Because you have to pay for your booth ahead of time, so it looks like somebody paid for a booth and decided not to show up. That is strange, you don't see that. I've never seen that. End caps like that are more expensive. That was probably at least a $3,000 booth. Mike's here. What's going on? Why you make all your stuff look just like mine? Look at <laughs> even your logo's the same. <laughs> How's it going? Good, how are you? Really good. Good, I got some money for you. Oh, okay, you buying the plow already? Yeah, I, it's already over at Village right now. Wow, yeah. you're so ambitious. I just talked to you like an hour and a half ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have all of everything. I'll give you a thousand right now if that, that works. That's fine. Okay. That'll buy me lunch. Three, I'm thinking about next year. I mean, that's still a really good plow. That thing will last for like all eternity. Yeah. Those are built like tanks. Yeah, it's de definitely built a lot better than the one I went looked at. Those are around. really good plows. <laughs> and that's in good shape. Yeah. But I'm thinking about next year trying one of them cage plows. Did you ever see those? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the blue nice. ones, the blue ones. Yeah, where you, you ever can, see those? Where they got the box. Yeah, where you can take out of it. And yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I know Snow Wolf makes the same attachment, basically. Oh, yes, Snow Wolf makes the same thing, but Cage was kind of like the original. Okay. And I heard they're really good plows, huh. so I was thinking about giving them a chance next year. That'd be nice. Yeah, because I've used Snow Wolf for a long time. I've heard a lot of good things about Cage. Okay. Hm. I can't believe it's gonna snow again. I know. I was like, <laughs> I'm just done with it. I know. Yeah. You know, Leah called me on her way home from work yesterday. Yeah. She was like, do you hear what's happening? I said, no. <laughs> She's like, we're supposed to get snow. I'm like, what? <laughs> so I went in a panic this last night looking for plows on Marketplace. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Then I found that one this morning. Congratulations on the skid loader, man. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you're kind of probably hoping for a little snow so you can mess with the skid loader a little kinda, bit. Yeah, I want to play with it. Is it it's two speed, right? It's two speed. Good. And, uh, it's got probably got more options than I need but for, I, I got a, I thought I got a pretty good yeah. price on it uh it's high flow yeah it's a high flow machine that's uh, awesome there we go all right I'm gonna finish setting up here I'm gonna get these slideshows rolling Look, Daryl's still with us. So this is for Eric and Francisco. It's uh, so they don't have to keep wasting all your money at the gas station. <laughs> wow, look at this. It's a portal potty. You got, oh wow. Toilet paper? Yeah. Man, this is really cool. Ugh, ugh. Garbage bags for the used toilet paper. It'll do it. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's really funny. Thank you. Oh. And this is a magnet. Oh, cool. In the winter shop. Very, very cool. Thank you. It looks like your hat's getting a little wore out, though. I think you need a new one. Which one do you like? I like the red and black one. I think you need one of those. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Next Wednesday, you said might work for you? Okay. That's the 29th. All right, I'll see you next week, Wednesday, at around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Grandma's here. Hi. Hi. Why are you here so early? Well, You're a half an hour early. So there's extra flyers back here. There's extra pens back here. So north to like Germantown, Cedarburg. Just put Germantown, Cedarburg. Like Port Washington's too far. Right, right. And then all of Waukesha. Um, just Western Waukesha, all of Waukesha, and then south to Oak Creek. Oak Creek slash Franklin, and that's it. Chiropractor, painter and garage floor coatings, and then windows, and then the guy next door here, he didn't show up. No call, no show. The one advantage asphalt has is it will melt the snow faster because it's black. Yeah. That's the one big advantage it has, but other than that, concrete has all the other advantages. Uh -huh. You can put it around the corner there. No, I don't want to. No, right here. Put it in the toilet. I got the toilet here. I don't want you to leave the booth, Mom, so I brought a toilet for you. Oh, my goodness. I'm not going to go. Oh, you got some. Yeah, I brought toilet paper for you. Is this a joke? No, it's not a joke, Mom. Just go right here. And then I got this here. Then you just, you just pull this around you. So nobody can see. <laughs> hey, where, are you, where are you guys out of? Brookfield. You got a card? Shh, well, I have a card or one of the bigger yeah, ones, whatever you, one you want. Because I know a guy who's looking for a driveway. Okay, yep, that's what we do. Okay. Should I tell yeah, I just tell people July. I still have room in June, mm -hmm. but I'd rather tell them July and then if I can get them in earlier, then they're happier. You know, okay, bye. Thank you. I just got done with lunch at B52's, my favorite restaurant. And now I have to run to the bank and then I have estimates all afternoon. Um, I gotta hurry up, I gotta get out of here. It is about five o'clock, I just finished my last estimate. I did three today and the one that I did second, he signed up on the spot. It was a pretty big driveway. So that was a good day of sales. The first one I did was very positive. I'm feeling really good about that. It was a large patio likely with a stamp order and a stamped uh, step by the house and then this one here in milwaukee uh this one i'm not so confident in but you're gonna get those all right i'm gonna bring you guys along for tonight we'll just see what happens they did issue a winter storm warning now so we might get a bunch of snow we'll see what how much garbage do we make Good morning. So this is what we're dealing with today. This is supposed to last now for about four to five more hours. We got several inches of very, very heavy, wet snow. It's like concrete snow. Good snowball snow. So the home show is going on. Obviously, nobody's going to be thinking about spring today, so it's going to be dead over there. Uh, I need to go plow, and then at 10 o'clock this morning, it's about 7 o'clock right now. At 10 o'clock this morning, i got to head over there, turn on all the stuff at the booth, and then my mom's going to come and fill in for me, and she's going to do an all-day shift today from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., and I'm going to go deal with the snow. So winter's not quite over. I already took the trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. Um, with that, um, I know we've talked a lot about younger people, but we have a great mix.
morning, Jessica. Good morning. How are you? Uh, Sorry to hear that. We're going to get dumped on pretty good. It looks like it. Yeah. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Yeah, bye-bye now. Mike's here. Mike is so happy right now. I'm really happy for Mike as well. He was able to buy himself a skid steer, a really nice skid steer for this year. And yesterday, I sold him one of my plows. So this is the first time he's able to plow with a skid loader. And look how happy he is. <laughs> Wait till you see the smile on his face. Mike's here. <laughs> Are you so happy right oh, now? That is amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> a lot easier, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff it's, can get done quicker. <laughs> oh yeah. No more backing up and yeah, doing all looking that. in your mirrors and yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I'm yeah. happy with that. Sounds like it runs perfect. Yeah, it's, it seems to be running really nice. Yeah. And you like the pilot controls? Oh, I love it. You nice and smooth. It? I can't right now. I'm running short on time. Okay. Yeah, I gotta do what I can get done real quick, and then I gotta run and open the show. Okay. And then my mom's coming, and then I'm gonna come back. Okay. So I should have started earlier, but I didn't know we were going to get this much this early. Well, I was up at 5.30 and there was nothing. Yeah, I just saw it came at once. Yeah. I, I woke know. up at 4.30, I looked outside, because I was going to start at 4.30, I looked yeah. outside, I was like, oh, there's really hardly anything. Yeah. So. So then I, so I went I went back, kind of laid down for a little bit, then I woke up and it was like 6.45, I'm like, oh, I should get going. I did the <laughs> same thing, because I woke up again and then I looked outside, I was like, Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> oh, I should have started earlier. Yeah. This is some heavy stuff though, for sure. Oh yeah. I got an email last night, well yesterday afternoon I should say, from a really large hotel right in Brookfield, not far from where I live, and they want to bid on snow plowing for next winter. I don't think they're happy with whoever they have apparently. So I'm going to do some bids, try to pick up a little bit more plowing. I don't want to get huge into it ever again but i want to get some more than i have right now there is like no traffic through the church very little pressure on me to get it done you know really quickly so this is a little irritating that i have to do it at all obviously but um you know if it had to come today was a good day okay i haven't ran this skid steer for a while Why is there snow coming in? How did snow get in here? One of, oh, the window's open. That's like just a crack. Man, this thing always starts perfect. Always, always, always. I just cleared enough of the church to keep them pacified. There's really no traffic through here anyway, but if they need to get around the building, I did a whole swipe around the building and a little bit of the back parking lot. I'm gonna do the same thing at the condos and then I gotta go open the home show and then I'll come back and keep working on it. I just wanna make everybody happy. Uh, you don't wanna mess up at the end of the winter. So let me talk about that. So some guys get lazy at the end of the winter because they're just tired of it, just like I'm tired of it. And they do kind of a mediocre job towards the end of the winter. That's the worst time to do that because you're gonna leave a bad taste in your client's mouth. So if you want the contract next year, you wanna leave on a very good note. You know, your last snowfalls, you should do a pristine job. Uh, so that's how they remember you. So the next season comes up, the contract renewal, and you're gonna be the guy.
kind of shaped up. It's 8.43 right now. Uh, I got a little time still. I'm going to hit some of these driveways on this side of the street. I still got about a half an hour before I have to leave. So I'm going to work right until I have to leave. Since it's spring break, all the college kids are gone. And there's only one unlucky kid left. <laughs> that has to do with this all by himself. I feel bad for him, honestly. How's it going? Pretty good. Are you cold? Been taking the oil the Well, probably because you're all alone. <laughs> yeah, it's spring break. Yeah. Yep, you don't have to salt this time, just snow yeah, blow. So get it decent so people can get out and stuff. And then when it's all done later on, you know, when it's totally done, then you can do a final cleanup. As far as I can go right now, the show opens at 10. It's 9.37 right now. So I'm going to be late, but nobody's going to be there this morning because of the snow, so I'm not worried about it. Lots of spin outs this morning, lots of accidents. Looks like he just got turned around and tapped the wall. He's all right. I mean, his car's not all right, but he ain't hurt. That's the main thing. It's quite the morning and I got estimates all afternoon today which is going to be interesting see the snow plows come through and they leave these enormous drifts and then people you know smash into them with their cars spin out crash get stuck all kinds of stuff let's run in and turn the booth on and we'll run right back out go straight back to plowing Grandma's here. <laughs> All right. Just since this morning, it's not too bad. You know what? Hand me those candies and then push those back so I can put my face in the front. That was a half the time to get all that toilet seat all day yesterday. It was. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, these guys actually show it up now? Well, that's good. Okay, bye. Thank you. I gotta get back to plowing. Alright, thank you. I am back. I was uh, looking at the radar and it is not looking great. It's nowhere near done. So we're pretty close to where that blue dot is, Milwaukee, just northwest of there. So we still have a long ways to go, but I'm gonna clean the rest of this up and get it done for the first time and then just see what I need to do later. which is right up the street. 
I have a Mediterranean style salad, no olives, three honey mustards. I just finished lunch at B-52's and I'm going to that meeting I was talking about. I can't give the details right now because it's not finalized, but it's a really, really big deal. It's really exciting and I'm hoping to be able to share the details within a week. I know some of you guys are going to be like, no, don't do that to us. I'm sorry to tease you, but until it's completely finalized, um, I can't say anything. This is a very large check and um, hopefully everything goes through. But within a week, I should know for sure, and I'll let you guys know what's going on. But it's pretty cool. Trust me on that one. I just pulled into my driveway. Uh, the meeting didn't happen, but I left the paperwork there for the gentleman. But I'll get back to you on that. So the storm is supposed to let up in about three hours. So I'm going to put some new socks on, dry my feet out. My feet are absolutely soaked. And just give it some time, and then we'll head back out and clean everything up for the last time. Look at Autumn's car. <laughs> I'm hoping this is the last one. I know I said that about the last one. But hopefully this is the final, final, final one. It's pretty deep. I don't know what we got. Probably six inches so far and it's not done yet. Daniel was busy out here building a snowman. Hopefully the last snowman we'll see this year. Daniel, I love your snowman. Yeah, it's really big. That was a lot of work for you. Not really. Not really? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Grace. See you later. Hi. So it looks like the snow is tapering off. Now I'm gonna head back out, start pushing it around again. I just pulled back in over here and this parking lot, it looks pretty good. I just need to touch it up here and there. The condos, I need to fully plow again. They have about an inch to an inch and a half on them. So it shouldn't be too bad. The final cleanup here should go pretty quick. I'm gonna fire up the S130 and go down all the city sidewalks first. And then I'll do a final cleanup with the big skid loader. I think the snow is finally tapering off. I see some breaks in the clouds. It's always a good, good sight. Let's see if this thing fires up. And I got about a quarter tank. Probably just enough. This is a pain because if one of your tires falls off the sidewalk, I've already done it like three or four times, you sink right in the mud because the ground's not frozen and it's all muddy. So the second your tire slips off the sidewalk, which I have no idea where the sidewalk is right now, I'm just guessing. I feel like I'm getting off track, which I was. You sink in. I almost got stuck once. Like really stuck. This is basically all the super heavy snow from the road that the city flings up on the sidewalk. S130 still goes through it though. 49 horsepower in a very, very compact machine. It's less than five feet wide, 54 inches. Three or four times. 
finish all the walks. I'm gonna go touch everything up, hit the condos one more time. I see one guy over at the condo shoveling. It just stopped snowing, so they'll probably complain that I didn't do a good job. But it is what it is. Winter's almost over. This might be the last little bit of snow that I pushed for the 2023 season. Hopefully, hopefully, that's it. That's it. All right, everything's done. The uh, college guys got to come and touch up the sidewalks at the condos, but I'm done. Hopefully that's the last time I need to hear that plow slam down until like about next December. That would be just fine. The sun's breaking through a little bit. It's melting everything off beautifully. 